Hello, I'm Richard, and today we're going to discuss the uh, low pro headlight setup uh, from Moss Motors. This is a 1997 Mazda Miata, first gen with the uh, pop-up headlights, which uh, other than that, I really like this, uh, this uh, style uh, on the vehicle. The uh, downside is, you know, at dusk when you turn on the lights, you have these huge things go blah. And so the nice thing about the uh, low pro headlight setup is it cuts that down somewhat. We don't have such an obnoxious looking huge bug eye uh, look to it. So we're going to walk through the installation process today. But first, let's show you what it looks like, uh, you know, kind of before and after. We've already done one side, and uh, so we're going to show you what that looks like. So there you go. That's uh, the before and after. So on the right is the stock setup, and on the left here, the uh, low pro set up by Cobalt, uh, which we purchased through uh, Moss Motors. So let's uh, move on to the installation process. Real quick before we get started, I thought I'd show you the view from the driver's seat. So there's the one on the right, the stock setup, one on the left is the uh, low pro. So, to get started, we're going to open the hood and put the lights in the up position. Okay, like I said, with the hood up and the lights up, we recommend that you do one side at a time. And so we're going to start off by removing the plastic bezel or cover that covers the trim of the headlight here. There's four fill up screws to remove it, to remove that, and pull those off, and then this should just come off. And as always, easier said than done. There we go. So the plastic trim is removed, exposing the headlight. Now, next, we're going to remove the uh, body cover here. These are quite tight, and so I don't use a, a Phillips on these. You can use either a Phillips. Um, I want to say it's an eight millimeter, and. Uh, and we'll remove that. All right, we're going to remove the four and we're not going to reuse them so you don't need to take them all the way off. These are slotted to allow for adjusting. So I'm loosening them up. And I was right, it is 8 millimeter. So, we'll remove that. That we'll be reusing. The other part we will not. So now, we're going to unplug the uh, electrical. And we're going to remove the uh, little plastic plug there. So I've removed the... Uh, electrical plug from the headlight and from this uh, bracket portion. Now we're going to remove the headlight assembly here. That I believe is a 10 and 12 millimeter. So these we're going to be reusing so uh, keep track of them. Simply pull the 
these off. Thread those together so I don't lose them. And now we want to pop the uh, activator arm off. We're just going to use a flat tip screwdriver. And let me reposition the camera so we can get a better view of what we're doing here. Okay, this is the activator rod right here. It has plastic caps on the ends. It's a ball and socket type of setup. And normally you want to remove it from the headlight um, assembly here before you unbolt the headlight assembly. But we've done it this way so that we can show it to you uh, on camera. Otherwise it's hard to, to see in there. Now, you want to mark the side or the end that attaches here. And we'll do that in a moment as soon as we detach it. But we're just going to use flat uh, flat tip screwdriver here and pop. So now we're going to remove this uh, as it's no longer needed. At this time, we can also remove the, uh, the stop here. This is the uh, stop on the uh, headlight assembly side. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter lock nut. We're going to loosen that and then this will just thread out. And like I mentioned, we want to mark this, so I'm going to clean it off here. And once it's clean, I'm just going to take a permanent marker. And I'm marking the headlight side of it here, so I'm just marking it with this Sharpie here. So I know that that's the headlight side. Then after that I'm going to pop the uh, activator side loose here. And so now we have the uh, activator removed and with our marked end. Next we're going to remove this stop right here. This is the upper stop and the headlight bucket is activated. Now there are six spot welds. There's going to be four on the back side here and two on top. And we're going to drill those out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and punch a hole or I'm sorry, we're just going to punch the starter here for our drill bit. We'll put that in the center of each of these spot welds. And these are easier to reach from the front side here. Okay, this is going to be a two-step process on the drilling out of these holes. Um, we're going to use an eighth inch bit first, and then we're going to follow that up with a five-sixteenths. Uh, let me uh, give you a little close-up of, uh, of what that looks like here. Here's the top view of the holes we've just punched. And this is what we were punching underneath. Okay. So next we're going to drill. 
few on top, of course, are easy to get to. Now, we want to be careful on this one now. We don't want to accidentally hit any wiring and we don't want to tag our uh, coolant reservoir. drill bit okay that's our eighth inch holes Now we're going to do our uh, 5 sixteenths. And you can step this up, you know, with the intermediate bit between this. So there's the four bottom ones. And our two top ones. Now typically, once you've done that, it's still going to need a little coaxing. Those two came off. We're just going to pop the other two. And there we have it. Our upper stop is now removed. And we're ready to move on in the process. I'm not going to film this next part, but what we're going to do is we're going to vacuum up all of our uh, shavings from drilling here. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. Okay, once that's all cleaned up, recommend that you clean all these holes. And then uh, put some paint on all the raw metal, bare metal, so as to not have a, a rust problem down the road. We're not going to do that right now because uh, we're going to continue on with the video, expedite this, but when you're doing this uh, on your vehicle, don't forget that part. We'll come back and haunt you later. Okay, at the workbench, we're going to do some assembly. Now this is the headlight bucket and they're labeled left and right. We've already installed the left side and so now we're going to do the right. And then there's uh, this piece that connects to it. It's uh, got the stop and the activator set up on it. And this is going to mount to the um, bottom here and uh, it can really only go one way and so it's held on by
two bolts. They're 10 millimeter heads. And we're going to take a little Loctite. Nice thing is it actually comes with it. We're not using what they sent, but it, they even include that. Nice little touch when they include everything you're going to need. And so then we're just going to um, torque down these two bolts. And once we do that, we're going to set this out of the way here. And get this one to start. There we go. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to move this off to the side. This is the way that it sits, though, just like this. This is up. So we will um, move that aside. And next, we're going to take the actual headlight itself. So we have two headlights. We have a high and low beam. You can tell them apart because the low beam is the longer of the two. So we want the low beam, the longer the two, will sit on the outside. So if this is in the position as it goes in the car, so like this, then this right one, or this one, will go on the right side. We want, we want it to be on the outside of the vehicle. So it will go that way, and then the high beam will go here, so it's on the inner side. So the two high beams will be closer to one another. The low beams will be further out. Okay? That's how they'll go in there. But first, what we want to do is install these little adjusters. And there's three adjusters per headlight unit. And so you have four holes here. But we're only going to use three of them. So we're going to use both of the bottom ones. And these are marked uh, top. Uh, and you want the uh, connector facing downward. And so this is top. Again, over here, this one's marked top also. So it's marked top here, here, so forth. So looking at this, I can see that, you know, I'm going to use my two bottom ones, and I'm going to use the upper left one in this case. And so I'm going to install the uh, adjuster on that. And I'll show you how we do that. OK, so taking our adjuster, we're going to do it in such a fashion that it goes in the hole. And you'll see that there's like two little raised points in here. And I don't know if they show up on camera at all. But we're going to set this so that it goes through the uh, notches. And then we're going to rotate this 45 degrees. And I want this little tab I want this little tab when it's rotated I want it between those two little raised areas that we mentioned a minute ago. 
Okay? So, uh, not to make boring video any more boring, I'm not going to show me doing all six of these, but that's what we're going to do next. We're going to install all these adjusters in the appropriate holes. So like I said, both bottom ones, and in this case it's going to be the upper left hand one on, on the uh, low beam, which is the outside one, and on the upper right on the high beam, which is on the inside one. Let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, after attaching all of our adjusters, next we're going to attach this little socket onto the ball end of the adjuster. And they just uh, pop into place. So do all of those next. So now we have all the little ball on our, our sockets on the adjusting balls. So next we want to install these into the uh, housing. Remember that this is the way it's installed in the vehicle. This bracket is up. This one's on the bottom. Long headlight is the low beam and it's going to go on the outside. Remember, have it up. So we got the top up and then it's going to press it in there. You'll hear it pop. And you will do all three corners that way. And you will do it for both headlights. And then we're going to install the vehicle. So stay with us. Quick shot of uh, the lights installed. Note the uh, sockets pressed through the housing. So then what we're going to do is we're going to install the, uh, the stop right here. This is the stop on the upper travel. And uh, we'll do that next. So we're going to take and install the, the stop right here, and we're going to put it all the way in. And this thing had been painted, and so we have paint on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this so that the bump stop is all the way down against the stop here. And then we'll put the uh, nut on it. And we're just going to put the nut on loosely, the lock nut, because once we get this in the car, then we will adjust it. So, stop in place, put our nut on here, just like that, just so it won't fall off. Okay. Next, okay, next we're going to attach the activator rod to the headlight uh, assembly there. But first we're going to take the uh, headlight end, the one that we marked, remember with the Sharpie, and we're going to punch that out. So I'm just going to take a, a socket here, I just want one large enough to fit that. This is a 17 millimeter that I grabbed here. And then we're just going to take and pop that out. Very easy to do. So now we're going to take and install this using 
a couple of um, parts that they include in this one. It's got a little shoulder in it. They're different thicknesses. And one's going to go here. You can see which one it would be by the thickness. And one's going to go here. What we need to do is we need to look at how this goes in the vehicle. So we'll run back to the vehicle and look which way does this have to go, this way or this way. That's important before we bolt this in place and do it incorrectly. Okay? All right, here we are back at the car. So we're going to take a look and see how that activator rod has got to hook up. There it is. So, it's going to have to go this way. So I want to remember that when I walk over to my um, housing, headlight housing, that uh, I make sure I have this orientated correctly. Okay? So now that I know which direction it needs to go, I'm going to take and this is a, a nylon flat washer. Place the bolt through that. Like I said, we know that one of these is one thickness, one is the other. So I'm going to put the matching side correctly. Then this will go through. And then this will go through this slot that we installed earlier. So, see how that shows up on camera a little better. Anyway, we'll install it in there and then taking another nylon flat washer, put it on the other side. And there's a nylon stop nut that they include. And then we'll just snug that down. That will allow this piece to travel. like such. Let's see if we can get a little closer view here. So you can see that slotted, allowing that to move. Okay, so I'll snug that up and we'll move on. Now we're going to hook up the electrical connections. And so we're going to take the wire, it's a red wire with a white stripe, and we're going to connect it to either one of the terminals on the high beam. But because it's hard to get in there, I'm going to actually pull the bulb out. And even hard to get my hand in here. Move the vents out of the way here. All right. Now, in doing so, be very careful not to touch the bulb. Oil from your skin can cause a hot spot on it and cause issues. So you can connect either one of them with this wire and plug it in. Kind of small. Let's see if I can get it lined up here. There. You know, feel it go in. Okay. Then the other one will take the ground side. It's uh, got two wires coming out of a single spade. We're going to take one of the small ones and again attach it to the other con connector here, terminal. And there we have it. We're going to put it back into place. We want it to be located so that when it's in place now, and I turn it 90 degrees, it uh, is facing down. So no moisture will run down in there. So next, we're going to take the red with black 
and attach to one of the low beam sides here. And then the other black will attach to the other terminal here on the low beam. And there we have it. So now it's wired up. Activators installed. Headlights are installed. It's ready to be installed in the vehicle. So next we're going to reinstall the headlight assembly back in the vehicle. We're going to reuse the um, hardware that we removed from the stock setup. And you can see there's a step here. Should be obvious how it goes back into place. And we'll snug that in. side and then we'll deal with that. It, it should uh, should move freely. Okay, once we have that installed, we want to reconnect our activator. And if you can get your hand in there, the other side's easier because you don't have the coolant reservoir in the way. There we go. Then next, we will connect the um, the wiring. It's simply matching color to color. So red with white, 
will match with red with white, and so forth. Uh, just slip those back, put these in the correct place, and then we're going to take uh, some electrical tape and kind of seal all that off good. And then we need to reattach this and route it in such a way that none of the wiring gets pinched and there's no problems while, uh, while it moves. So I won't bore you with that on video. I'll go ahead and do that right now. So once our electrical is hooked up, we're going to adjust our stop here, which you really can't see very well. But we're going to adjust it out to where it hits the, um, the body here, the stop. So our rubber stopper comes up and hits the body, which is just like this, boom. And so we'll adjust that all the way out. Then we're going to put the headlights down. And then we're going to adjust it out two more turns and attach that lock net or you know, tighten down that lock net. Okay? Like I said, it really doesn't show up. Uh, there's a little cover right here. It's really hard to see. By the time you have hands in there and everything, it's not going to show up. But that's the process. I'm going to adjust it out now to where it's up against the metal right here. And we'll stop against it, close these down, thread it out two more revolutions, lock down the lock nut. Like I said, it really doesn't show up on camera, but you can see the, the lock nut kind of showing there. There's our stop. And I'm going to put a little mark on it here. And that top dead center here. That way when I rotate this thing two revolutions, I'll know when two revolutions come by. Next, using a flat washer and little Phillips screw that came with the uh, kit, we're going to start them. In the housing here, there's four. And uh, I'm just going to get them started in place here. And then we'll slip the cover back on. Just starting. Have to have room to slip the cover on there. You want the washers pulled back. They will go on the outside of the uh, tabs on the cover. There's one that's hard to get to because it's a little bit low. Here. Okay. So what we're going to do put a cover in place. Okay. And then I'm just going to tighten these down. I'm not tightening them. I'm just going to run these down to where they're just holding it a little bit. And then we're going to adjust it. And it takes a few times to do this. It's kind of trial and error. And we're going to drop this down. See how it needs to be adjusted. So I can see I need to 
bring this corner down down and back a little bit right there and so we will adjust it raise it back up and adjust it I'm just doing this kind of roughly on the front edge here and then we'll put the hood down and make sure things are where we want them to be so this is going to have to drop right there the other thing once we kind of have things in in play here is I want to check and make sure that my wiring is not getting caught on anything and then uh, I'm going to wrap it and wire tie it in place. So, wiring's not snagging on anything. Everything looks good. So, because this takes a few minutes of up and down trial and error I'm not going to bore you with it and so we'll uh, we'll cut from that a little bit of angle here anyway so once this is adjusted which we did on the other side and we saw in the beginning Once it's adjusted, we then need, you know, the, the light bucket. Once it's adjusted and we have a nice fit all around, then we still need to adjust our headlights. We need to do that so that, uh, you know, they're shining where they need to shine. And we're going to show you how to do that also, but that'll be after it gets dark this evening. And so right now, I'm going to adjust these buckets, or this one, and then uh, we'll see you in a bit, as soon as it gets dark. Alright, we're going to adjust the lights by using a wall. And uh, you can see our, our lights aren't level right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take and measure back from this wall 25 to 30 feet and we're going to have a center line that will match with the center line of the car and then we will match the distance between the headlights and make marks on this wall we're going to use some of the blue tape and then we will uh, measure the height of the lights up from the ground and so we're going to have center mark and a mark where each headlight should be up from the ground and from center and that's where we want to do the beam we want to have the center of the beam on that mark and so we'll measure that now and show you So the distance between our low beams center to center 44 inches height off the ground looks to be twenty six inches. So now we're going to make a mark on our wall. So we're going to use the horizontal. will be controlled by the lower screws, lower adjustments. And the upper one will control our vertical. I do it with my hand out of the way. Do 
go in the right direction. All right. Okay, you think we're getting closer? All right. Okay, so you can see the center of my beam is getting close to the center point I've marked. All right, so now you can see I need to do that on the, uh, this was the driver's side, now I need to do it on the passenger side. And then we'll do the same thing with the high beam. So let's take a look at what we're adjusting here real quick. So here we are, we're dialing them in, you can see we're getting close. Here's a shot of the vehicle with the lights on. So these are the adjustment screws. The two in the bottom we will use to adjust the direction horizontally and the upper one is what we'll use to adjust the beam vertically. Remember to have the vehicle 25 to 30 feet away from your wall on level ground and it's a simple process.